All right, guys, I'm in Mark's basement. We're gonna do a replacement of a full system here. Um, not really much place to go with the return drop uh, because there's a gas line right there on that side of it. So unless we move the gas line, even so, it's only gonna buy us a couple inches, so I don't think that's worth it. And um, we'll probably end up replacing the gas line here on this side because it's been bent over down at the bottom. It doesn't look too safe. Um, but we'll replace this gas line coming from here down to the system. Um, and I'm gonna move the whole system over just a couple inches so we can put our five inch media cabinet in, um, in between the furnace and the drop. New line set come out of the front of the system, up into the ceiling and out to the outdoor unit. You can see the units on a wall rack right now. Electrical's okay, we got four inch flue pipe that runs up to a five inch by four inch by four inch swivel T, so that T will get replaced and we'll do new four inch down into our system. Final drain lines go to the floor drain right there. We got a Murray Load Center, it's a newer load center. Uh, Murray Load Center with a double 30 amp breaker. That should be everything. Uh, the only thing that sticks out here is that uh, that refrigerant line that we're gonna have to do. Or I'm sorry, the, the gas line that we're gonna have to do. We'll pull the rack off the wall here. We'll put a new rack bolted to the uh, foundation. Set the new unit on top of the wall rack and um, those refrigerant lines will have been replaced with a new disconnect box. That should be everything.